Hi, everyone. Welcome to In 5D Global Predictions with the beautiful, lovely, vivacious, sexy, psychic alley, my wife. Look at that gorgeous face. <laughs> I'm Greg, and uh, we're taking your questions. My fault. Again. My fault. Well, it always is. They, they know that. Yeah, all the time, actually. <laughs> this today is definitely my fault. Definitely your fault. Yep. It's okay though. You know, there's times I I may have been late once in the last year or two. Yeah. Happy birthday, Linda. Happy birthday. Hope you had a wonderful day. Yeah. And sending you lots and lots of I baked you a happy day of incarnation cake. Yes. So if you have a question for us, put it in all uppercase in the chat and hopefully we'll get around to it. And if you, there's a message going on, if you want us to do a personal mini reading, it's uh, $10 and you can do it on YouTube via Super Chat or PayPal or, or Cash App. And all that information is right down here. If you're watching on Facebook, it's up there. So did how? What? Yeah, I did. You did, you did. Yeah. How are you doing? Okay. Okay. Yeah. Good. You look yeah. hot. Like look. Mm -hmm. Thank you. You look beautiful. Yeah. You. you look yummy. Delicious. Homemade. Aw, thank you. Homemade lemonade. Oh. Yummy. I don't think I've ever tried homemade lemonade in my life. Well, it's not really. I didn't actually squeeze the lemons. I bought a big bottle of squeezed lemons. Um, and I drank about that much water. Put in two teaspoons of stevia and filled the rest up with lemon. Homemade lemonade. Keto friendly. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Let's see. I uh, completed the mid-month energy report for Patreon followers of 1111 or more. I put a brief short uh, sample of it on the N5D channel, so you can check that out here if you want. But if you want to watch the full version, got to gotta join Patreon at the 1111 tier or higher. And people that join that also get $5 off all t-shirts, uh, regular price t-shirts on N5D Quantum Tie-Dye with the password, uh, the, the code that I give you. And that includes the new one that I just got out today. And this is the Quantum Fire. That's wow. the ladies, ladies V-neck. That's amazing. Isn't it beautiful, hon? Well, let me, let me. Let me just hold on before you do that. Let me. <laughs> and uh, here's here's the men's uh, version, ladies and men's. Actually, hang on. No, oh, they're really the lovely. My mom had a dream yeah. about them. She had a dream. Did she oh, tell wow. you? No. She had a dream of a fire t-shirt. <laughs> and here they are. It. Well, I, I had, I, I was wearing one, uh, this yesterday on yesterday's video. I oh, know, she saw. But, uh, mm. yeah, this, this is the, let's see. This is, the, yeah, this is the men's uh, shirt. Uh, here's the ladies. Oops, there it is. I accidentally showed you you guys one that that I showed you guys one that I haven't. It's not up yet. It's just, and I've only made the woman's one. But this is the air element, the quantum air element. Uh, so this is the ladies' v neck quantum air element. I haven't made the men's one yet, but when I do, it'll be an XL, and you'll see me wearing it. <laughs> I'm like, I model all my shirts. Well, hey, I should put a picture of me wearing every one of these shirts. 
in there. But uh, yeah, this is the latest. You can get it at N5D Quantum Tie Dye at N5D.net and Patreon users. I, I you know, you got you guys uh, supporters of Patreon. I've given you guys codes for uh, the discount. And if you forgot, just message me. I'll give it. Back. I'll give you the code again. It's no big deal. Anyway, yeah, that's that's what I got. New shirts again. Three weeks in a row. You guys have had new shirts coming out on in 5 d Quantum Tie Dye. And you got a sneak preview of the fourth one, which would be, like I said, the air element, similar to the fire, except it's got the purple in it. Oh yeah. Oh, no, it's this one. I'm sorry. This one. Similar to the uh, fire, the orange and the red and the yellow, but it's got purple and uh, the indigo blue. So come back in, Allie. <laughs> Thank you, Susie. Appreciate that. Love it. That you really, really do have a talent for it. It's amazing. And, Thank you. you know, they are stunning. The colors are so vibrant. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, I've seen tie-dye t-shirts and they're just wishy-washy and, you know, they, they don't have the same energy either as your t-shirts no, do. No, no. No, the whole the process. The sand that you put no. in it. Hmm. Yep, that whole process just completely energizes the shirts, and uh, yeah, they're they're full of energy. Uh, the pa even the patterns are different, and when I mail them out, I sprinkle them with additional ninety nine point nine percent quartz crystal sand that I keep right here. This is where I do my mailing and packaging, right here. So uh, yeah. Lots of energy. And those granules of Atlantean sand end up going around the world. I just mailed out uh, some some shirts to Western Australia uh, a few days ago. So that, that Atlantean sand is going to be making it halfway around the world. Wow. That's yeah. amazing. That is amazing. Oh. And you also use crystals, don't you, in with your dyes? Yeah, all all of the chakra colors um, have two different crystals for each chakra color. And then I put the quartz crystal sand into the dye with the gemstones because, the, as many of you know, quartz crystal supercharges all crystals. So it just makes for a really powerful dye. And that dye gets locked into the the shirts so you know you can't wash it out unless your shirt goes completely white again you're still going to have that energy locked into the shirt and then as i mentioned i sprinkle the the sand before i mail it out so when you open it up your package you tip it over you'll probably see some sand come out and that's that atlantean sand yeah. lots of people have collected that sand haven't they <laughs> they have so some people ask for a little extra, <clears throat> and that's fine. I'll, I try to give a little extra if I can, if they ask for it. Wouldn't it be but nice it, to put it in little little pots so they've got a little pot of it rather than sprinkle it on the shirt? Like a little vial? I don't want it standing Ooh. out either because it the sand will affect the weight of the shirt and the weight of the mailing and it will cost more to mail. And so I, I can't put too much in there. Oh. Yeah. Plus you don't want a lot of, a lot of white powdery substance in a vial. I, I was just thinking that and I was thinking about what you have to go through when you bring some to me as well. Every time I get stopped at, at uh, customs and they, they search, they find it, they stick their finger in there and lick it and test it and every time. They taste it, do they? Yeah. That's got to oh. be pretty nasty. I know, but what happens if it is the real 
stuff. It's like they're they just get really high just, if they dig three of them. No, it's just a little on your on no. your tongue. If it's the real thing, it'll numb your tongue a little, not completely, just mm -hmm. a little. There's a taste to it, and you know the dogs would sniff it out anyway. So you'd yes. have to be a fool to sneak in coke. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Oh, there's another question for you, love. <laughs> I have one. I, I wore it the other day. I wore it on Saturday. Uh, I don't have it here right now. It might be in the wash. But yeah, I got to figure out. Do you mean the out. one with turquoise in it? No. No, it's camo. Yeah. Mm. I don't have it right here. But that's one I'm working on as well. So bear with me. Nice. Nice. And thank you, Chrissy. We're always a little bit late. Uh, we are, and it usually is my fault. We usually have a little chat. We should get on a, a little bit earlier so that we can kind of catch up before we go on, really. I was there at 7.55, five minutes beforehand. Um, how are you doing? Hi, everyone. There's a lag, isn't there? There is. There always seems to be. I think there's a, there's a delay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. It's okay. We'll make. Hey, Susie. We'll and Sarah. Hello, lovely Sarah. Hi, Sarah. Yeah. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> yeah, emojis don't come up. I did a baby shower for um, my daughter, Rhiannon, and they had an emoji. You had to guess what, they, what the words were through the emojis. You know, like um, okay. waters breaking and, um, you know, epidural and things like that was all. And people were trying to guess what was what. That would be challenging. Um, yeah. They've got some funny games. Very, it was. It was. Hey, Kelvin. That's a new name. Is it a new name? A new name. Do you recognize that one? Yeah. Hi to Kelvin. On Facebook. Yeah. So we do have a question here, so we can come back to that in a mo. So yep. thank you, Mar M. Marm. Mar M. Marm. And another one. I've written it down just because it it wasn't in capitals and we didn't want to miss it because uh, if it's in capitals, it stands out a bit better, but we'll be yeah. going on lockdown again. I could answer that straight away. No. <laughs> Elvis going on That's a new name lockdown. too, isn't it? That's probably why it's not in uppercase. <clears throat> yeah. 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 Hi, Patty. Hi, Patty. And Elise, Elise, Elise. That's a new name. Elise. How would you yeah. say that? Elise. Um, I've recognised that lady on Facebook. Yes, I think Do she you? chats. You chat to my mama. I think um, I remember her adding you to her list of people that she adds. I think. Huh. Well, it seems like a new name to me here. I don't recall seeing her name here on global predictions. I'm usually pretty good at remembering names, yeah. but could have been. Yeah. Oh, oh, he's lovely, Tracy. I've been doing readings with Tracy, which is lovely. She's a beautiful soul. Skipped over a few. 
We have uh, Lisa and Mel. Yeah. Lisa. Lori. Yeah. You go. And that's that's a new name too on face joining us on Facebook. Chris Jans. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, aloha, yeah. Trina here. Okay, hi Trina. How are you? And then, <clears throat> then you left off here at Tracy. I just didn't want to miss anyone. Go ahead, go ahead, continue. No, I was jumping back and forth. Um, yeah, let us know if you are new. Just say, hey, I'm new here. Um, it's nice to find out new faces um, joining our in 5D family. Yeah, there's a new name, Tracy yeah. R. Tracy no. R. <laughs> no, I'm goofing. No. Hi to Kimberly and Patty. <laughs> so glad I made it here tonight. This is my kind of safe place. Life has been pretty rough lately. Well, we're Aww. glad that you feel that way. And, and you're always welcome here at N5D. Yeah. You are definitely. so appreciated. Well, it's my pleasure, Tracy. Yeah. It's my pleasure. <clears throat> I am so new here. Yay. <laughs> right on. Well, hopefully you won't be a stranger and keep coming on back. Yeah. There's like 1,400 videos on the N5D YouTube channel. Oh, speaking of which, I have a show tomorrow night with astrologer Jim Delacoli. Looking forward to that. That goes on at 7 p.m. Wednesday. So join me here. We're on the Zentasia YouTube channel or on my personal N5D Facebook page, I believe. <clears throat> Where's that middle finger? <laughs> uh, yeah, that's funny. That's funny. Morris says, "Ali, Ali, like you look." Morris says, "Ali, you look lovely." Was looking forward forward to seeing your show tonight. <laughs> I'm okay with that. I can we take a joke. Both love me. Hi to uh, Deborah. <laughs> I, th I think that's a new name as well. Yes. Hey, Deborah. Yeah. <laughs> we love a bit of joking. Yeah. I see Susan has, has a question. Yeah. As well, and uh, Chris, yeah, because you're new here. Yeah, please um, this ask is questions. Chris, because you're new here, uh, this is uh, Global Predictions, and uh, what we do is uh, we ask people to put questions in the chat, in all uppercase like this, and uh, we'll get around to answering them on uh, with the tarot. And if you want, we also. Uh, do mini readings and th those are ten dollars and you can do it on the super chat here on youtube but you're on facebook so you can do it on cash app or paypal ten dollars for a quick mini reading of a question of your choice but generally speaking all caps up upper letters for global predictions like claudette says right here and like it says right down below us <laughs> We it's, that, <laughs> well, that way it's easier for us to see because we have this aggregator that has all of the comments from both of my Facebook pages and the N5D YouTube page. And we see all the comments together. And when they're, when they're lumped together, if they're not in uppercase, they just, there's times where we've missed them before. Mm -hmm. It is true. It is true. Yeah. So I had the grandkids today. It was lovely. Sweeties. Yeah. Um, I think um, Megan and the kids are away in Florida. They're, not Florida. Uh, Paris. They're at Disney. <laughs> so, yeah. They're at Disney. How dare they go to Florida without you? <laughs> well... I'm thinking of um, doing a little business trip to America. 
I would love that. Hell yeah. I think we could arrange a business trip to America. I, I would love that. For me. Uh, yeah. I <laughs> would absolutely love that. Hell yeah. That's the only way I can try and travel if it's a business. So, yeah, if anyone's got any uh, ideas of uh, wanting me to do them, maybe a, a party or a, um, some sort of readings or something. Sorry, I've got to repair my makeup. Then I am your girl. So we'll have to put our thinking caps on, love. What does a thinking cap look like? This. <laughs> or this. Oh, I thought that was a dunce cap. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. You know I tease. I know, love. I know. Oh, Chris. Hey, Chris. If you want, yeah. Yeah, if you, if you have a... Uh, Shall I go over to YouTube? It's up to you, either. You yeah. Can Facebook or YouTube. Yeah, if you're trying to do like a super chat, yeah, do that on on YouTube, I'd recommend. And they kind of get priority, uh, you know, so when, when they come in, we answer them and then go back to the global predictions. <laughs> Trina switched over there. So we got on YouTube. Okay. Right on. Hi. Hi, Trina. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, I'm going to scroll back and get to our. So, first what's been question. happening? What's been happening? It's been the Trump trial. Oh, I wanted to talk. Okay. So does anybody know what's been happening with the Trump trial? He's had to, is it juris, jury service thing with this Bragg guy? Um, and and some of the people, potential jury members, are speaking out in favour of Trump, actually, and saying that, you know, they think it's an absolute ridiculous trial. Um, and, uh, you know, they are they are all for trump they think you know he's got a lot of popularity so i you know don't think they got chosen because they've obviously got um you know they're a bit of bias towards trump and they were well, they won't like that will they they won't choose those jury members but um mm. i um, haven't heard anything ah uh, so I'm, I'm clueless on that i haven't really been following the news today i was just so busy I, I could barely get onto Facebook to answer your question about what supplements I use to keep my blood pressure low. So hopefully you were able to pass that on to your mom. Oh, and if no, not, I I was, I'm going to say hi, mom, right now. And I already gave it to her, so don't blame me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, I was at my mom's and... Has anybody else been, I've, again, I've been falling asleep left, right and centre, just can't keep my eyes open. Are you the same? Yeah. I didn't get my nap today. I was too busy working, but man, I was super, super, super tired. And yeah. as soon as we get done with our next show, I'm going to bed. Yeah. Yeah. It's uh, it's crazy. And I think it's still this, this um, you know, eclipse energy. I think, you know, uh, and and it's something that's happened around the world. So it's like a, a yes. global go, global lift, I think we've all had. Mm -hmm. Check out that mid-month energy report. I, ah. I sent, you have a, uh, a link to it. That I, I, All of my uh, Patreon subscribers Thank of 1111 you. or more were emailed the link and the password. So check that out. Thank it it explains name. a lot. You're welcome. My pleasure. Did I say to you today I love you? Because I do. 
Aww. I love you too. I love love. You do. And we have a super chat from Trina. Thank you. Is there oh, a thank you, Trina. Is there a thank question? You. Would you like a reading with that? Yeah. yeah. Oh, she said, I sent my question to the feed. Okay. Okay. And hi to Jenny Grigole. That's a new name. <laughs> I'm scrolling back to yeah. find, oh, Trina. Here, I switched over to YouTube. Saw that. Still trying to find the, the question. Did you see it? No, I'm looking. Yeah, me either. What was their original name? Um, well, the last name Trina, was the same. And then she was a different name, wasn't she? Chris. But I didn't see a question. A question. Yeah, Chris. There's, yeah, there's no question there. Chris you you asked if you could ask a question, but we've got nothing since then. Yeah, I'm so new here. Yes, yeah, so you may have questions? to write it again. I'm so sorry. I'd love to. Shall I go over hmm. to YouTube? That's the only question I see so far. Shall I go over to YouTube? And then here you are. And I sent my question in the feed. I don't just put put it again. Oh, here it is. Should I be doing Akashic record readings? There we go. Oh. All right. We have that. Yeah. All right, you want to go first? Of course. And uh, should I be doing Akashic record readings? Well, you should be doing whatever your heart tells you to do, but we're going to take a look at some of the uh, tarot cards and see what that has to say for you. Okay. Okay. Well... What I'm getting is, yes, but there's also something else you should be doing with the Akashic Record readings. Do you have some other abilities? Are you psychic? Do you, can you do tarot as well? There's something, there's, there's two things that you're supposed to be combining. And uh, right now, I'm, I'm also seeing something along the lines of um, maybe, maybe it is tarot or intuitive. So you're you're supposed to be combining two different things um, when you when you do the akashic record readings in conjunction with something else. Maybe it's hypnotherapy. I don't know what it is. You'll know. You'll know when when you get that magical combination. It's going to set you apart from everyone else. Okay, and I think that's that's what you need to do. I'm seeing that. There may be uh, some questions, uh, basically, uh, that you're asking yourself more so than anything else, you know, um, and then trying to figure out ways of delivering the message. How, what medium are you going to use? Are you going to do, do it through a website, a YouTube channel, Facebook, uh, Twitter? Uh, what what forms of, there's lots of discussion going on is what i'm saying about how you're going to implement this high, entire thing you know are you going to build a website what do you want to feature on there and it's the implementation of everything that um it, is kind of convoluting it all initially though um it's you're, you're launching yourself once you get this all down and settled you're launching yourself into a new beginning 
Knock it off, Allie. Allie always makes fun of me when I show this card. <laughs> She's giggling in the background. <laughs> and I'm not going to say why. I think we're all adults. You know why. <laughs> but yeah, uh, once you figure this out, you're, you're creating your own niche. There are a, a lot of people that do Akashic Record readings, but there's something, like I said, that I'm getting that you're going to be adding to that. That's going to create your uniqueness. And people will just want to flock to you because of that uniqueness that you'll be giving and sharing. And that's what I have. Let's see what Allie has for you. I'm sorry. It just is, you know, just my childlike energy going on there. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> I took some dice for you. I did the dice and the number came up with uh, 12, which is a three, which is celebration and also a yes. Um, and um, I do agree. Greg um, picked up that you've got more than one gift. And I feel that that is going to be very, very important for you. There's also also a strong past life. Um, they gave me the word past life. And I feel that this is linked to you. Um, that you may have done something very similar to, uh, to this in the past. And I'm talking way, way back. Um, now, you might not have been calling it in, that, in the past, past lives. Um, but you, you may have been tuning into it. Um, I feel that you were in a working class family and um, he was a very much a writer and I feel that you had to write in, under a different name um, so I don't know if you're thinking of writing or you're, you're maybe thinking of because I feel as if there's a book there um, to do with your past to do with what you have experienced in your past I also feel as if you was always a bit of a rebel and perhaps you are now as well I think we all are <laughs> bit of uh, rebels um so anyway i feel as if there is some shifting about uh, of the home there seems to be something to do with the home your home life um so i feel that you know maybe it's like you need to be um sorting out an area where you can do these because i feel that it's it's um i don't know if you're going to be working from your home or whether or not there's a question mark about you working from your home or where you're going to work from, okay? And maybe that's what also Greg was picking up on. You know, is it going to be online or is it going to be face-to-face? -face? Um, also, they're talking about money as well and you're unsure what to pay for, you know, what, what to charge. Um, and... Um, but I, I feel that, that there will be a celebration energy um, and uh, that celebration energy will will come to, it's like um, there'll be a download and it'd be like, yes, that's it. I've got it sorted. I know. Okay. Um, to me, it's, it, it's like there's a, a real surge of energy right at this time for you to start this or something for sure. You've got the the ace of wands which is my fired up kind of card is the spark of energy um emotionally you're kind of you've got to a balance i feel um in your life you've got to a balanced state of being and um i feel that there's also been either health issues emotionally physically or mentally um and i feel that they're now balanced more than you've had before so the timing is right for this to happen. And um, yeah, I, I can see that um, there are also going to be a lot of male characters as well that will be coming um, and, and needing this. And I feel that this is due to depression. Um, I feel that men are going to start to stand up and say, hey, you know, uh, we do need help as well. So um, don't be surprised if uh, you don't, uh, you know, start to get that sort of inquiry. Okay. And uh, you're going to be amazing at that. Um, I don't know if you're single 
or if you're single then this could be there could be a romance linked with somebody coming to you um or it could be um that that's how you met a partner i'm not sure which way around that is but uh yes so yeah that's what that's what i got so yeah, there you, go. Oh, you are welcome you are welcome right on very good yeah isn't it something how you know it our, good our though, isn't it? i love how our cards seem to just work with each other as well yeah it's beautiful yeah yeah i did pick some runes out can i just explain these runes quickly because i don't usually use runes but i'm trying to learn them um so you've got the the weird one class as the weird um which is the blank one um and the the energy of this is it's destiny it's fate what you're doing right now so it's always been meant to be and they're saying take a leap of faith into the unknown okay so i just wanted to share that with you as well that's it all right bonus runes <laughs> Oh, that's yeah. sweet yeah i also use yeah. these my new cards that i got for my birthday which are uncover your past lives oracle they're really good they're lovely so hmm. mm -hmm. all right our first global predictions question comes from mar m marm Mar a duke, Marmaduke, Marm. Will med beds be out in the next few years? Marm, Marm. <laughs> I'm st why am I stuck on that name? Mar M, Marm. I'm not sure if it's Mar or Marm. Anyway, <laughs> um, <oops. laughs> so will they be out in? Hang on, I got some something popping up on my screen here. That I need to get rid of. Cancel. There we go. Will they be on the? Uh, my answer is kinda. Um, what I what I'm getting is not specifically med beds, but some kind of technology or upgrade. And I've been getting that since people were asking me about me and Al, Allie and me about the the solar eclipse on August eighth or April eighth. I'm sorry. Since we were asked about that, I think it was the sixteenth, March sixteenth or so, in that area, whatever day we had a show on that that asked us about the solar eclipse i got this i got the the hanged man card and it shows us that we to look at things from a different perspective and the message i was getting i also got the star card and the message i was getting intuitively was dna upgrade and it was after that that this love energy started coming in and that perhaps is part of the love energy that's going on, the DNA upgrades. And that's what I'm getting from this. Is it going to be the med beds in the next few years? I'm not feeling that, but it's something much bigger and greater where we're going to be like healing ourselves. And it might have to do with photonic energy or the solar flash. We got the sun here. So these cards in conjunction are just telling me that something magical is about to happen and we're already in that process if you i've been talking about I, I put out a video last night i put one out on saturday and on both videos i talk about this love vibration on today's mid-month energy report for my patreon followers of 11 11 or more i talk more about that are you guys feeling this love energy that's going on. It's like this incredible energy of love. 
the most comparable thing you can think of would be the summer of love energy of 1967. Now at the time I was only six in 1967. So, but I remember that energy. I didn't understand it, but I remember that energy. So some something's happening right now. We're in the midst of it and it's continuing. And like Ali mentioned earlier, and as I, I felt and concurred, the tiredness, when you're tired, you, you sleep and you get these downloads in your sleep. So this love energy, the downloads, the tiredness, the DNA upgrades, it's all happening right now. So med beds, not necessarily, but something much bigger and greater. Yes. That's what I have. <laughs> Let's see what Ellie okay. has. Okay. Well, I got, I got yes. I'm sorry, darling, but I got yes. They will be. They will be. They will be here sooner than you think. I feel as if there's a, there's. They're talking about a partnership with. Um, um, I feel somebody quite big, um, somebody very um, well known out there. Um, you know, I've got the. This is the lovers card. Now, the lovers card in this case isn't to do with love life. It's to do with partnership. Um, so the partnership energy is going to be going out there. This person it gets the job done. They get the job done all the time. Um, and so they're working on it now. And when I remote viewed it, I saw all these all these machines being worked on. Um, lots and lots of them, like a big warehouse kind of place, like a factory, I suppose. Um, and I saw that. So yeah, the plans are going out there. And um, I feel as if, um, and I'll, I'll stick to what I got with um, the the yearly predictions that we did, uh, which is handheld machines that are going to be part of the, um, the healing. Um, so they're kind of like med, uh, med beds, but they're in a, in a hand, kind of like a like a handgun or something um and it's it's lasers and things like that. so anyway there's a, a lot of um yeah a lot of things uh, exciting going to be coming out and i feel that sooner they gave me the words sooner rather than later um but the big thing that greg was talking about i saw that as well um so there's something big and i do feel as if we are going to be um, able to heal ourselves a lot quicker and a lot easier because our energy has had a huge upgrade absolutely huge um you know we also got my seven of swords which is looking after yourself um protecting yourself there's a lot of companies out there who are trying to pretend that they have this new technology um out there and um just be careful what you're spending your money on is what i just got just be just be careful um you know it's really difficult um when someone says this is going to be the next big thing and spend lots and lots of money on it and we you know so anyway that i i got the yes so that's it that's it that's what i got all right all righty We'll see, right? Uh, either way, I don't think it's. I think it's a win-win with either one of us Absolutely. that answered correctly, and we all know it's me. So, or me, it's, it's really me. Win-win, <laughs> uh, either way. Yeah. Exactly. Um, <laughs> Yeah, I, I, I didn't skip over it. Um, will there be a lockdown? If so, for what and when? You know, they're already starting to push this bullshit. But, you know, I, I saw the, the, there was like a new flu that they're trying to put out there and and people just aren't buying it anymore. And we're seeing the consequences of what's happened. I got a tiptoe. I forgot. I got a tippy toe around this bullshit because Facebook. 
um, or YouTube doesn't like us talking about certain things. So yeah, they're 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 trying to make it happen. But it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what they do. I mean, it's it's all it's all backfiring on them. It's all collapsing. Uh, you know, and and it's been this way for a while. So you know, despite what they try, and they've been trying, and as hard as they've been trying, I, I don't think they can overcome this love energy that that's going on right now. Uh, so, yeah. Well, we, no, no, this isn't for us. That's for them. That's the end of their game. That's what I'm feeling. That's what I'm seeing. And when you feel this love energy com compounded with them failing, it's it's a beautiful thing. It's You know that we're at the end of the game. We're winning. We're way ahead right now. Don't buy into the bullshit. Like the crap that's going on in the in the Gaza Gaza plateau and potential war, don't buy into that crap. That's all they have left. That's what I have. Not happening. No. Nope. I agree a hundred percent with everything you just said. I don't need to add anything really. Um yeah, the the, the love vibration energy is it, it cannot sustain that that negativity and nor, nor can world war either that can't either it's just not mm -hmm. not sustainable in this energy there's too many people waking up spiritually lifting their vibrations up it's just like it's a bit it's a bit laughable if you like spirit are kind of going really <laughs> yeah it's not happening so no people aren't aren't buying into it, which is wonderful. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like it. Short and sweet, love it. Yeah. Beautiful. Hmm. All right. Um, scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. Here it is, Susie has the next question. Is Klaus Schwab really sick or has he been detained? I didn't hear about this, but be interesting to see what we find through the tarot cards you know, i don't know i don't have to know anything about it i got tarot cards that'll tell me everything i need to know and so what do we have for mr klaus schwab klaus schwab no i can't speak german fuck i'm russian polish spanish and italian and i can't speak any of them <laughs> can barely speak English. <laughs> English. Actually, we're we're fucking that up too because that's Allie's language. We speak basically American, which is fucked up English. <laughs> anyway, is Klaus Schwab really sick or has he been detained? Um I guess it depends on how you look at it. Could it could be both, right? Um, he could be detained and is sick. <laughs> it's interesting, but you know what? Something's happening behind the scenes, and it has a lot to do with justice. Um, and there's several outcomes that are, are probable right now. Um, what's most likely is that we'll see some doppelganger not necessarily not necessarily a clone but a look-alike a doppelganger somebody wearing a mask pretending to be him and i don't usually say this lightly because it's been overused way too much oh this guy's a clone this guy's a body double but i'm feeling that in this situation okay so i mean you you rarely ever hear me say that i'm saying it now yeah so uh, he's heading toward the end of whatever reign he thinks he has. This love energy is just getting stronger and stronger. And that's basically sucking the energy out of them. It's almost like reverse psychology. 
how they used to use fear against us. Well, the love energy against them is 10 times stronger. So keep feeling, oh God, my crown chakra is lighting up right now. The top of my head is tingling. Um, but yeah, keep doing what you're doing. Stay away from the fear porn and all that crap. Focus on that love energy and let's let this magnify and expand. That's what I have. Let's see what Ellie has. Allison. Oh, Allison. There you are. <laughs> My mum says that when I'm in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> Calls me Allison. <laughs> I love this in the in the chat here. Um, now he eats bugs. <laughs> yeah. Right. That's what yeah. he said. You eat bugs and you like them. <laughs> it's like no, no, never. Um, he's been detained. Yep, he's been detained. So yeah. any other future um, versions of him will literally be whatever body doubles you know they do they have with plastic surgery now they can literally mold somebody's you know cheekbones and face shape and everything you know they are absolutely brilliant at that you know and also the masks you know it was in mission impossible when the these masks first came out with a little kind of tape thing that goes over the the voice box here with the accent changing you know, um, voice adapter thing. Um, well, they always bring these things out in films before they actually, you know, and that that they've already had them years before that. So it's definitely been refined um, that. So yeah, I, I do believe that uh, you're not going to see, you're not going to see the, um, the that one. Maybe that's always been the way. Maybe it's been for a long time, but. Um, um yeah they're still playing their silly games trying to carry on as nope nothing to see here everything's just normal it's not normal nope it's not normal and i do believe that the arrests are going on in the background i think that some are being re released because they are collecting more information for the white hats or they are doing the job of the white hats somehow they've agreed in order to lessen their sentence so um so yeah that's what i i believe yeah that's it all right that's enough that's all we need yeah <laughs> you know what how we were mm -hmm. talking to trina and we were both saying that there's something that she's going to do to combine um, to make her yeah. unique it's right there that's it Yes, Perfect. Trina, absolutely. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And it, it will be amazing. Yeah. Yeah. And People will want. I love in the chat, we've got like Simeon Nine saying, sorry. Go ahead. I thought you'd finish, sorry, love, end game. Yeah, so people are seeing what we're seeing, darling. So good. Mm -hmm. And thank you, Wade. Great positive frequency vibration energy from this channel stream. Right on. Thank you, brother. Appreciate that. Thank you, Wade. Thank you. Okay. <sighs> Tracy says it was 81 degrees, 27 Celsius here today in Ohio. Okay. That might have been warmer than here in Florida. Since the 8th, the day of the solar eclipse, they've been spraying the skies when the temperature gets high and then temperatures drop like 30 to 40 degrees. Question, are we moved in rotation to cause this? Do you understand that? The question? I understood everything up until the question. Moved Are we in mo rotation to cause this. What 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 you rotation? Mean like a pole shift. Is that what you mean, Tracy? Like a pole shift? 
See, that would make sense. In rotation. Yeah. Did a pull did a pull Is shift. Olivia? Hi, Olivia. Did a pull Olivia. shift cost us? Maybe. Is that what you're asking? Tracy? Let me scroll down yeah, and see. Let us know. Is she answered? Is she still here? No, I put, I'm keeping a lookout. Yeah, and yes. she said yes. She said okay, yes. good. Okay. All right. So let's uh, take a peek, shall we? Let's see what our cards have to say about this. Well, it's interesting because suspicious observers, uh, Ben Davidson, he's been putting out a lot of, it is what it is. It, to me, it's fear mongering. To him, it's reality about, about a pulse, pulse shift that's happening right now. And, it probably is. You can tell from the physical north and south poles, they've been shifting and moving at a fast pace, but I don't see that affecting us in any of our lifetimes. As a matter of fact, the person that he's been researching says that won't happen for over a hundred and 20, 130 years, like 2150 or 2160. He's saying that's going to happen like 2050. Maybe. I don't know. I, what do I know about pole shifts, right? Except what I can ask the cards and what I feel intuitively. Intuitively? No, not happening in my lifetime. Not happening in just about every one of your lifetimes, if at all any of you. None. None not seeing it, not feeling it. And okay, hypothetically, what if I'm wrong? Who wants to survive one? <laughs> you have no hot water, electricity, food, clean water. You know, I live on the coast of the Gulf of Mexico. Give me a surfboard. I'll ride it out. Actually, I'll swallow as much seawater as I can and see you guys on the other side. Right? But I don't see that happening. I had a nightmare after I watched one of his videos. And uh, that sucked. It, it put that fear into me. And this was a while ago. And I stopped watching him. I'm like, nah. I'm still subscribed to his channel. But I don't need to see anything about a pole shift. If it happens, it happens. Good luck to those who plan on being here and writing it out. I don't want to live in a world like that. And I don't think it's going to happen in my lifetime anyway. But let's get to the question. The question. Are we moved? Have we moved in the pole shift? to cause? Has there been a movement in the pole shift to cause this? Um, honestly, what I'm seeing is that no. Not really. I mean, it is happening, but it, that's not the reason. It's just solar energy. You got We got the sun card right off the bat. It's just solar energy that, that comes and goes. This time of the year, it's, it's fluctuating. It has its own variables. It's some days you'll ride the highs and drop the lows. You know, it's kind of like, you know, the weather is bipolar this time of the year. You know, it has its ups and downs, um, but there's nothing to worry about. It it's not about the pole shift, and none of us haven't have anything to worry about when it comes to that and the changes. And that's what I have. Hmm. Okay. Do you need the okay. question back up, huh? Nope. Nope. That's okay. Has it? has it shifted um i i get that it's it's not going to shift to that degree um 
I do believe that there's a vibrational shift though and I do believe that uh, the earth is going through a lot of transitions and um, if you think about this as a matrix I actually watched the matrix film again because I felt as if if I wanted to to see it again with my eyes open and um, oh thank you uh, so I wanted to see it again with my eyes open and it is um, you know fascinating that there you know I don't believe in that we're all living in that type of matrix you know that the world has actually um, been a disaster and you know all of that but what I do feel is that um, mother earth is going through changes the same as we are okay and that's why um, she needs as much energy as possible um, but um, so you know having different stars out there you know, maybe you're pulling ships. I don't know. Could be, you know, um, maybe you're kind of more aligned to, to seeing um, the off-world energy. Just a thought. Um, maybe it's that. But, uh, yeah, the, the uh, shift isn't going to happen, I don't feel, in our lifetime. I agree with Greg on that. So, All right. Okay. And thank you, Claudette. <laughs> Thank you. And I mean, right now we're in the perfect spots to be if it actually did. So who, who wants to live through it? I sure as hell don't. Um, <laughs> thank you, Stephanie. Good evening to my favorite couple to watch on yeah. the two. Thank LOL. you, Stephanie. Love, life, healing to everyone out there. Love, I can't wait to see you again soon. Love, light, and healing to everyone. <laughs> I didn't say anything. Shannon says, man, I could use a med bed, but I'd let Allie go first. <laughs> I, <laughs> I, say I said we not to say anything. I didn't say anything. anything. I didn't. I know you haven't. I know. I haven't said a damn thing. I'm trying. Uh, good morning to you, Leona, in Australia. Leona says, hello, beautiful souls. Question, please. The recent knife attacks in Sydney, Australia, the one at the shopping center, was he possessed with mind control? Do you hear anything about this? I no, but I can I can answer it. But you, yeah. you go first. Okay, I will. I insist. So, was he possessed with mind control? Uh, well, right off the bat, yeah. Um, and it, to me, it, it's it. It was the Ace of Pentacles, and I'm I'm getting that he was paid to do this. Was he yes, but he he was getting paid to do it and he did it willingly um and it was it wasn't obviously it was the dark forces that did that there's a there's a controlling agenda that they're trying to push and uh but that's going to fail as well because like we said you know we're in this period of truth right now and 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 that game the game's over We've already won. That's why we're feeling this love. Everyone's picking up that feeling. They're panicking big time because this is much more powerful than anything they can do, including the knife attack. Um, and yeah, uh, so yeah, he he was he he was mind controlled, but he was getting paid to do it. That's what I got. He got paid off got to find the people that paid them. Yeah, there is also um, a demonic energy that is um, attaching itself um, to these people as well. So they mm. find themselves in a very, very low vibrational energy. They can then be manipulated with, with mind control. Um, that they've, They know how to do it. They have somebody befriend these people and pretend that they are, you know, 
the same as them, you know, on a low vibrational energy. And, uh, you know, they drip feed this energy into them. And uh, it is like a hypnosis as well um, that comes over them all of a sudden. Um, they end up doing something and everybody around them is like, this person was never, never like this. What, I don't know what, what possessed them to come over that. Yeah, what possessed them to come over that? Yeah, it, it, yeah, mind control. And so, yeah, probably there's money around as well. You know, so, yeah, it's, it is, uh, you know, it's all part of the agenda. It's all part of what it is that they want. Um, that's what they want to happen. They, they want everybody turning on each other. Mm -hmm. And the best thing possible to do is to send out love and yeah. not hate, even to the people who is doing the knife attacks because they are playing victims as well. Yeah. What I'm getting to, I just, as I was listening. to say, isn't it? If you're, it was your family, I suppose. As I was listening to you, I, I was getting that he was promised to be paid, but they had no intention of paying him at all. Whoever it was, he's, he never got paid for that it. That makes sense. Yeah. That makes sense because when I looked at the bank account, bank account and, and so they didn't do it. Did he die as well, the guy? Did the guy know. who did the, the stabbings, did he did he die? Because I feel as if they if he hasn't died yet, they're gonna wipe him out anyway. That's what I feel. Wow. It's awful. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Getting to what Tracy said here, uh, she hasn't watched Susp Suspicious Observers, but it seems like the stars are in a different location and I've been here 20 years. Um, it might just be that you've noticed, started noticing the stars because they, they move throughout the year. For example, around Christmas time, you'll see Orion's belt at night. Those are the, the three kings, right? Uh, that you see at, in, the, in the Northern Lights and all that stuff, that's, that's all seasonal. You won't see Orion's Belt in the summertime or as, as we're approaching summer. At least when I'm saying summer, I, my apologies, apologies to everyone in Australia because I know everything's the opposite there. But, uh, yeah, the, the stars have a progression. And you, you, if you're just noticing right now some of these alignments like uh, the Pleiades, you, you only Orion's Belt, those three stars, the three kings, they point at the Pleiades. And if you just kind of like draw a line through the through the three uh, stars of Orion's belt, you'll see that little cluster of the Pleiades. But you'll only see that in like November, December, January, maybe February or so. And then, you know, the stars move around and you'll see different stars throughout the year. So um, outside of that, you know, I haven't gone out and, and looked at the stars, but I do have an idea because I was, I had uh, some night vision goggles and I, I would look at the stars here in Florida. We can see stars every, all night, every day, every night. And uh, so I, I'm very familiar with the skies, but I haven't, I sold my night vision goggles. I had to, had to sell them. I, <laughs> I was running low on money. So Unfortunately, man, I wish I didn't have to sell them because I loved them. They were fun. But I ho hopefully that helps to answer your question as well. Uh, let's see what other questions we have here. And if we have any, it's already 920. So maybe we'll take a couple more. If we have so any. Claudette also has, has, has noticed that they've been changing as well. So, yeah. Okay. All right. I haven't been out at night to notice. Yeah. Interesting. I'm not um, sure. Yeah. And Paula, you are well. You are welcome. You are welcome. What psychic gifts will I be downloading? Um, 
I feel the gift of uh, mediumship contact with spirit. So spirit people are going to be um, talking to you for other people. So that's one of them for sure. Vera is saying that in the Netherlands, they've been spraying for years and years. I can hardly remember the days the skies weren't sprayed. I'm 60 years old. During lockdowns, the skies were beautifully clear. And it had been beautifully clear here for the most part up until uh, a, like a week or two before the eclipse. After the eclipse, it's gotten clear again, but they were, there was some heavy spraying here on the Gulf Coast of Florida for those couple weeks leading up to the eclipse. Um, I wanted to say that the this, this stock market in Denmark um, was on fire, literally, um, wow. today. So, <laughs> yeah, the steeple of it actually came down and wow. they just want to say that that was a very satanic place and they did lots of satanic rituals there um same as notre dame so karma just, just what i heard yeah that's it's karma yeah, exactly. it comes into my mind yeah shit's yeah. hitting the fan for those people that have been doing shit against us it's all coming back bam yep oh yeah yeah they're taking oh. down these like um like georgia guidestones they've gone down you know their their horrible 10 new ten commandments that they had on, mm. on there yep L late being gone yeah mm. yeah i sent you some videos i don't know if any of those really gone. good for you yeah. Oh, good. Yeah. So in the in the next show, there are some videos about some England. Ah, oh, thank you, Debbie. Yeah. I can't say that I'm feeling better, but but thank you. I know, I know. I'm trying not to rock. I'm trying. I, I, I didn't say anything. You don't have to say. Anything. <laughs> Maybe if I just exaggerate it really big. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I just look like a Looney Tune. No, mm -hmm. we all love you, and people will send send you energy if they feel compelled to do so, which I bet you they already have. I'm not asking for anything. I appreciate it. I said to him, I'm so bored with asking for healing. Energy. I'm so bored of it. Send Ellie energy. I said, I said, don't say anything. I said, don't say anything. <laughs> Just now. People want to help you. They want to be <laughs> part of your healing. Oh, but it's so boring, isn't it? Just so boring every every time I'm online. Anyway, I have done the astrology readings. They're only little mini readings, but and I will try and get them sent over to in 5D. I will. I will try. Okay. Ah. And thank um, you, there is um, some five dollars off um, any readings at psychicalli.net. Ah. Uh, Thank you, Vera. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Well, um, is there anything you want to wrap up on? And we'll just come back at 10 o'clock. I would like to I'd like to say um that we didn't uh, we didn't talk about um your um new readings for children. No, we didn't. <laughs> yeah um i am doing readings for um and kind of combining my background in as a child and family therapist for at-risk youth combining that background 
uh, along with a metaphysical and spiritual perspective for any of the kids that are out there and families. I mean, it doesn't matter. It could be uh, adults as well, but kids were always my specialty. I used to tell the other therapist I work with, give me your toughest kids. I'll reach them. And I did. And I feel that way about uh, what I have to offer. And uh, you can check that out. You can see um, what I have to offer on in5d.com on the homepage. It'll be the first article that you see. So go there, check it out. And I look forward to working with you and or your children. Yeah. It's well worth it. You you had um, you you wrote a paper, didn't you, as well, before you you left. I it was going to be published yeah, or I, something. No, I have a patent thing. pending. I have a patent pending program designed to help families who are at risk of dis dissolution children who are going through the reunification process and for parents in need of parenting classes. That program got approved here in Sarasota by the area's largest human services facility, Heartland for Children. And I was working that in a three county area. So, and I also wrote a book called 100 plus common parenting mistakes that we're all guilty of. Anyway, enough about me. What about you? What's going on with you? Deflection. <laughs> um, so, you know, if you do have a child that does need um, someone to listen to them, somebody, you know, just, you know, who's outside of, um, of the establishment, shall I say, um, I would highly recommend this this lovely man. Just when I said enough about me, what about you? And you deflect it back to me. <laughs> I did say I was gonna. No, uh, I love you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank that, you. It's always I believe in you. I believe in you. I do. Yeah. So on that note, we'll be back. Well, that's that bit. Just um that's it. Okay. On that note, we'll be back in about thirty minutes or so for in 5D, live and uncensored with the lovely, sexy, beautiful, vivacious Allison. Allison! Ellie Prescott and myself. And uh, we look forward to seeing you guys all over there. The, the link, you'll find the link up above here or down below here. Oh, gosh. I don't know if I updated that link. <laughs> the... Hmm. I don't know if the link's updated up above and below. I'll update it right now. Let me uh, give you guys the link in the chat. God, I'm glad I thought about this. This is the correct yeah. link right here. And I'll put the link on my Facebook page as well. So just click that link and we'll see you there at 10 o'clock. All right. So yes. on behalf of my lovely, gorgeous, beautiful wife, Allie, I'm Greg. We're sending you all lots of love and light from our hearts to yours. Take care, everyone. Love you all. Bye. Peace.